<laughs> uh, it's been so busy lately. <laughs> Maybe just me being busy. And then recently, it's just me um, cramming for exams. Exams are around the corner. <laughs> yes, yes. Angels have exams too. <laughs> How else do you think we're certified angels? <laughs> like, I remember last time we were getting to the good part and then and then my internet died. Ah, <clears throat> hopefully we can have a no internet death stream today. Hopefully. January do be a busy month, yeah. January is a busy month. New year. New things to set up. Oh, so much stuff. Okay. Mm hmm. Some of my friends are like getting the results for other things and yeah, stressful times. January. Alright. Oh, let's see. What are we up to? Ah, hello, Frost. Hello, hello. So, give me a second. I'm I'm lost. So, so you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her breast. Splattered blood from her victim. That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least twice. Then tell us what you s uh, then tell us what you saw that you thought was blood. Testify. See, it's not an angel. It's just not as angelic as me. <laughs> ah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. A red muffler looks like blood to me. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. Um, if I remember correctly, we check this real quick. She doesn't have a muffler. Yeah, this one. Miss Tar, I demand an explanation. The witness is clearly not suited for detective work. W what The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you've proved it yourself with this photograph. Huh? But, but that... that can't be. Only a professional lunch lady could be so utterly clueless. <laughs> Congratulations. Perhaps you finally found your true calling. <laughs> Hashtag roasted. <laughs> uh, hmm, harsh words, but good. <laughs> uh, roasted, truly roasted. Nice and crispy. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, in the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevailed. <laughs> Objection, chop the level. Hello, hello, Jake. Hello. But it was there, a scarf. No, not that. But something red. Really? Well, now, where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude. We're back to business. Onion! Onion? Onion? Uh... <clears throat> oh, it's back. Okay. <laughs> my Wi-Fi buffering? No, it's it's my Wi-Fi, not yours. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. What? What? Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. How huh, Kiri just spoke too soon? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. The most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. The next testimony might just be the moment of truth. <laughs> uh, Apprehending the suspect in case. 
After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. Ah yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made it made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Um, <clears throat> You're quite determined about the scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. That's me, Angel Star. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is a, is a kind of snake. Don't bother me with the details unless you want to get bitten. Nom nom. No, 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 thanks. Note to self, Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous snake bites. <laughs> the chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. An oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Rawr. <laughs> Indeed, resistance against an angel is futile. <laughs> Don't resist. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you will. Okay. Let's see. After the murder suspect, okay. Explain her rights to her. Internet. Internet. Hello. Um. back but I don't know if I'm stable. Um should be fine. Okay. Um okay. Hopefully it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways. Um You say quickly, were you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. How, how, wait, how far is 30 feet? 30 feet museum. Um, nine meters, I guess. Okay. Oh god, where's my tab? Alright. Hmm, maybe I should press her for more details? Yes. I'd like to see this on the floor pass, just to be safe. Okay. The lunch land car was... She was a visitor, thus she was parked in B-block. So you witnessed the murder from here? Now will make it about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that correct, Miss Star? Y yes that's right. But there was a chain link fence in front of you? I went over it, of course. Internet couldn't just doing extremely ritual. <laughs> uh, I'd rather it didn't. Amazing, that cough up queen. Lunch lady athlete indeed. It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she couldn't have gotten to my sister that fast. Yeah, that fence was about 9 feet high too. So how did this guy not get away? Interesting. Um, she mentioned the muffler? What exactly did she say? If I remembered exactly, I would have told you my testimony. Cheeky. Anyway, all I heard her say was the word muffler. Just that one word? So, what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? She can't mean... Ask for that. By phone, do you mean... This cell phone, discovered at this crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory... 
It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. What does that mean? <laughs> no, no, the court doesn't see the star. I don't see. <laughs> the chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently, it was out of order. And so she used her cell phone? Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? <laughs> uh, you should, of course, add this to your testimony. The things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. Okay. Hmm. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! I was going to ask the same thing! I'll only say this one time, so listen, close rookies. Okay. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. And during that time, we climbed over the chain link fence. Then when I boldly grabbed her arm, the chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? What is that, Mr. Wright? You can't see that. How do you- you can't see that, it's impossible. Where is the floor pan? You can't see that, she wouldn't have been able to see that. It has to be this. OBJECTION! Objection. <gasps> Ms. Dar, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. Objection. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Well, what would have- well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shiny armor, prosecutor? You, who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Well, Miss Darth, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Ahem, <clears throat> let's look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Guy making that phone call. That is true. I believe you see what I'm getting at. The emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. Order, order. What is the meaning of this? It's simple, your honor. She's not coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lie the witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about... Um, where she saw it. Miss Tri tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is, what is significant about this fact? Nothing. Therefore, it will be pointless for Miss Star to lie about it. Pointless to lie? I see. But say the witness did actually see Miss Star using the emergency phone. It would mean Miss Star would not witness the crime from a different location. A different location? Yeah, that's a pointless lie if I've ever heard one. Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I'm a clever wordsmith now? <laughs> okay. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All the testimony we've heard until now points in one direction. The place from where Mr. Witnessed this crime scene was here. 
has to be the security room. Mm. Right? This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room? Indeed, the security room is in the underground parking lot. Ah, uh, it's well positioned. It's built on the second floor, so you can see the entire lot. Hmm. She wouldn't have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. <laughs> not in this case, Your Honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in a block. The only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the partition is here. I remember your testimony, you said. You brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Stark? How many years have I been getting the better of men? To think that the tables could be turned. Today, a man has gotten the better of Angel Star. <laughs> ah. Order, order. Witness. What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty. Is she talking about this guy? Um, Mr. Wright? Doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Huh? She could have just said she saw the cracker from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It was the de defendant who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. It still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? M me? Who else? <laughs> Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Alright. Um... Mr. Wright witnessed a crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw from B block. It must make a vital difference. But what? What would change the distance to the crime? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. My, cond my condolences, Mr. Wright. But one look at the floor plans is quite clear. Eh? The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she, she could see. Oh, but what she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. <gasps> Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there to the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Guy? Well, witness? You. Y yes? You ordered the squid wheels, right? The quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. <laughs> I was bringing a PB and J lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. Hmm. Boysenberry for the boyfriend? He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass ward station. Oh, it takes time to get down. And before I knew what I was doing, I was found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. Okay. Oh, so she had to go the long way. Oh my. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking in B block. That's quite a detour. Mm -hmm. That's quite a long, quite a long place. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. But five minutes? Five minutes is a lot. Hmm, this changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have photographic evidence. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. <laughs> you have a point. And the spork is a wonderful image. <laughs> uh... Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Uh-oh. Miss Wright, 
We have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Raise an objection regardless. Five minutes between witnessing between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. We couldn't make pasta in the amount of time. If you like it al dante. <laughs> I've got lunch boxes that are tied pasta into knots for cake. Hmm? A five minute blink. Isn't that strange? Strange? If you are a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, your honor? Well, um, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! Don't get the wrong idea. I, I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> but you have the instincts of a killer. You would run. But this time was different. Miss Guy dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No, no true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Judge is sus. <laughs> Very sus. Oh. Well then, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant and a blink in her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, is the next witness ready to go? Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright. But that was too close. <gasps> mm. I'm afraid that the cough up queen has been dethroned. And with that, court is adorned. Ooh. Hold it. Eh? Hmm? Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to voice off on me. I prefer to not take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? Oh, I just, I just got roasted on you. Uh, I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? Is this another one of her trick lunch boxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Dark. Ah. Uh, is this your jumbo lunchbox? Woohoo! A triple decker. Oh god. Out of deference to the witness's determination, I'll allow one more testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunch land, Motto says he won't be disappointed. What's she going to pull out of her lunchbox this time? Oh. Another testimony? Okay. Big brain time. I've been studying a lot, sir. This, this, this should be a, a piece of cake, right? <laughs> I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now? To the matter of the victim's shoe, did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One, of, one was, of course, the victim's. And the other blood type matched that of the defendant. Miss Lana Sky. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. Oh. But what? There was blood found on that shoe? Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. <laughs> oh, kill your blood, nyo? Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. In any case, your honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule 1. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is legal evidence, at least for the time being. I is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. Chadworth. 
Oh, uh, not anymore. <laughs> you could at least study some evidence law. Really? <laughs> the prosecution's complaints notwithstanding. It appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against your witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Ah, <sighs> okay. Very well, Mr. Rai. You may cross-examine the witness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Should I mention this one? Mm. Is it flawless? Is it truly flawless? I can't be I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You ordered the peppered fish guts, right? Is that even edible? <laughs> Some like a hot Mr. Right. Some like your client. She's in enough hot water to make a whole vat of soup. Mr. Right, do you or don't you have a problem with this shoe? A problem? This is critical. Is there a problem with the victim's shoe? There's a problem. If I'm not imagining things. I say there's one critical point. Problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, Rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. Okay. What is contradictory about this victim's shoe? Show us the problem with this evidence. Okay. Um. Oh? What is this? I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, Rocky. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Oh, your bit. Hmm. Indeed, there is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about blood on the bottom of his shoe? It's the crime photo. Uh, where is this? This. Being loud, can you hear them? Take that. Take that! The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Know that the bottom of the victim victim's shoe is covered in blood. Nope, I can't go. They're being pretty loud. Then isn't it strange? Why weren't there any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Aha! Uh -huh. As you can see, Where's the blood on the floor? Yeah, it's not there. That's why I was like, huh? There were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about the shoe. The picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Order, order, order. Well, witness. W what? Huh? I, uh... Great going, Mr. Wright. But... It's true that the lack of a footprint is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh. That's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright. Think. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. <laughs> What? Hold it. Oh, Edward? What's wrong? I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. W what are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> I thought that was a strange thing for the normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. 
Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that, hmm? I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edward. But apparently, you're, you're not you're not the co- ugh. So apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness. Oh, well, was the oil drum empty? Hmm? That's the most reason like, I got blood on all my clothes, but convenience that splurted on my sh- That splurted on my sh- and hit the floor low. <laughs> hmm? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. W water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright? Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! Uh -huh. You don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over that old drum for one reason and one reason alone. To raise the bloodstains that will become evidence against her. What? 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 The ties things up quite nicely. The bloodstains left on the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to this murder. Then after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to raise the telltale signs. But where's all the oil? Give me the oil. Why do you want the oil? Why do you want oil? Yeah? Mm hmm? I don't know. I don't know where it's gone. You from the US or something? <laughs> to cook Kiri? You, you can't cook me with oil in the oil drum, you know that, right? <laughs> you, do you know how to cook, hmm? So Jed? Hey? <laughs> Cooking doesn't work like that. Why, that's the prosecutor's specialty, erasing evidence. That reminds me, Miss Guy's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe. Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. M Mr. Wright, do something, please. Hm? Anything is possible with Hellfire. You, you just turn me into ashes, huh? But what? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime, and she tried to conceal it. But, but. Enough. There is no need for further debate. The verdict, your honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Ah, ah, did I fail? <gasps> Hold it, I need to... Ah, little girl, what did you just say? Huh, M me? Did you just say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution's side. But, well, yeah, you, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well... I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called evidence. But wait. Witness, don't tell me you have something else. The time for deliberations is past. Any further comments, and you will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare the cough up queen. Look at this. What is this? A photograph? I had it just in case anyone had the gal to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm. I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Wright, wait. Look at the asphalt in this photo. As felt. Ah, uh, hello? Hi, Kiri, hi, Ta. Hello? Ah, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> hello? Your name, your name sounds like hello. Hello? <laughs> hello. Okay. <clears throat> hey, it's clearly wet. Ah. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder. The crime scene was swashed with water. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. A 
I'm sorry, Neil. Right. Wet or not? Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. <gasps> Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. Oh? This is the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for- Wait, 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 what is it with you people? Can't I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Not when I'm around. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Whatever it is, can it wait? N no, it can't. Then it will be too late. Take a look at this photograph. The last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. Sir, so, right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah, I'll think later. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. Huh? Huh? Uh, I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem in this photograph. Looking for? <laughs> what am I looking for? Uh, um. <sighs> okay, give me a second. What? What? What is weird though? this I don't know what this is but it doesn't seem like it's weird when is it I don't know I don't know um 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 What's wrong with this? <laughs> I didn't I didn't see I didn't see a problem with this picture. What's the problem with this picture? <laughs> um, um, um. <clears throat> Is it really what I think? Is it really that? Can it really be that? It's just that's so weird. Think hard. I don't know car parts. I I know I know that there is a car part that's called a a muffler. <laughs> I, I know that there's a car part called a muffler, but I don't know which part it is. Is it is it what I'm pointing to? Is it this? Is this really the muffler? Eh? You know what? 
you know what? It's fine. I have, I have, I have, I have lives to lose. <laughs> That's the muffler. Okay, nice. Thanks. The problem in this photograph is here. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Thanks. Wait, just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor, you just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or a scarf of any kind in this photograph. Dot, dot, dot. A muffler is also a part of a car. It's also a part on a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and I see. Oh, what's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of a car's muffler? Hmm. So what if there is something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> Sorry, Miss Star. But it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. Oh, what? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth in the muffler is related to the case. Cell phone. Miss Star, recall your testimony for the court. Ah yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's why. I, that's what had me confused by my in my earlier testimony. Muffler. Ah. Yeah. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Uh oh. What? What is happening? What? Well, it seems we will have to suspend the proceedings. S -s suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car of the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait after we have seen all the evidence. Agreed? Hmm? Three dying noises will be the most adorable sounds, no? No? I suppose so. Phew. That was a close. That was close. But we made it. At least for now. <laughs> this car will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry? <laughs> Someone's not satisfied. <laughs> okay. Save progress. Eat. Eat. Me. Trial letter, trial form. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Perfect. <clears throat> um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake about to reach the surface? But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there? Pretty much. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. Oh god, that's worse. Gonna deep fry Kiri. What? No? No, I'd rather not be in hot oil. <laughs> so what happened to your sister anyway? Apparently she got caught off to the judge's chambers. Hmm, probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn this trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant to tell the truth. <gasps> oh no! Hola, partner! Oh! They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it will fire up its temper. Huh? Nothing is hotter than Kiri's beauty. Um, um, thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm shy, okay? I'm shy, okay? Uh, uh. Questionable? You're so mean, Rob. Mmm. 
That's what they told me when I was a young one, at least. Young and sorry. Officer Marshall? Hmm? Why well, you laughed? Way to go, mate. Wow. Do I come take a look at ah uh, do I thought I come take a look see at how the trial's going? Looks like I'm late. Sit sit. Okay, wait. Drink some cold water to cool off. <laughs> uh, okay. played exactly this case in Ace Attorney yesterday. <laughs> that means that means if I if I need help, you can help me, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have re been really on edge. Sure thing. <laughs> Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, comfort? No carry you suffer alone? This is very, very long. Uh, I guess we're playing the long con. It's the long con, alright. Just means we have more streams. <laughs> Hi, Kiri. Hello, cow. Hello. Mm -hmm. You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. How's the case going? We were in some hot water earlier. I'm boiling hot water, but it's, it's I'm alive. I'm still on my first life. It's okay. Uh, life is not that bad here. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Kiri. Don't cry. I'll be nice. Please don't cry there, there, little one. <laughs> I think I was at it for 10 to 12 hours for this case total. That's, that's, that's like six streams. <laughs> That's like six streams. <laughs> and assuming that I'm talking, which means it's even longer than that. Ah, oh, more content for Kiri. I I guess so. <laughs> hey, six streams for Kiri. Ah, and my suffering. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I dread how long the cases will be in the later games. Oh god. <laughs> the whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now don't that just beat or? Yeah? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw her that day too. She was wearing a red muffler. Enjoy the ride. Thank you. Hey, ten to twelve hours of suffering. You minute. But I'm looking forward to Miles Edgeworth ones. Huh? I I have no idea what you're talking about, but I don't think I don't think the Ace Attorney trilogy has the Miles Edgeworth stuff, unless I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I don't I don't think um this one has that. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Okay. <clears throat> Edgeworth is best boy and Ace Attorney hands down. That seems to be the popular opinion, yes. <laughs> it isn't in, but it was originally on DS. Oh, if it's not in, then I, I won't I won't have it. I don't have a DS. <laughs> what? <clears throat> At the award ceremony that afternoon, Edgeworth seen it too, I reckon. What does that mean? So you'll have to use an emulator. No, it's fine. I don't. I, it's fine. I don't. I don't. I don't bother. <laughs> In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So Mister wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner. Sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns, and sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. Ugh. 
have a bad feeling about this. Okay. <clears throat> so, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Right? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine rose. Oh, we. <laughs> I'd like to resume. What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Eh? Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're double, you doubled over, your back is bent. It can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Huh? Well then, I believe it is time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable. Huh? What is happening? Hmm. It seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me. Knock knock. Me? Eh? Who's there? Who was- who- who- who? Huh? Who was this? What's with this guy? A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. <clears throat> hey, the temperature rose 4 at 7.5 degrees when that man came in. H who on earth is he? I, I- I- huh? I don't know. Ah, it's you! Who? Who? <gasps> Say something? Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Iggy. The rows were packed. It's just me. Man, maybe this guy's hotter than Kiri. <laughs> maybe? I don't know. I still think I'm prettier. Long time I see, uh, it Iggy? How you been? So much these days? Ah! Hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy? Busy smizzy, Iggy. My boy. You have to make time to relax. Cab? <laughs> what do you mean, cab? What do you mean? So hot he raised the temperature. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what well, are, are you trying to? Are you trying to say something? Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Ah. Thank you for the follow. Ta 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 da kazu Honda. I. Is my thing to <gasps> look packy? <key. gasps> you can just redeem it. This is what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Anyways. Y yes, indeed. Uji seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? A cute angel. <gasps> Hello. Tada, Kazu Honda. Konnichiwa. Hmm, <laughs> okay, let me go back. <clears throat> Aha, so you're right, her, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Eh? Uh, the thanks? So sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly! The uh, little worthy? Mr. Wright. You don't know the district sh chief of police? Chi chief of police? <gasps> Thank you for the song! Tada, tada kazu honda. Thank you. Okay, we go back to the game. <gasps> uh. <clears throat> He's a top ranking police officer in the entire district. Oh? Oh? Name's Gant. Gant? 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 Which one is it? <laughs> uh, I think I'll stick with Gant. His name is Gant. Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. Hello from Germany, oh. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hope you have a nice day. <laughs> so, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this court, hasn't it? Oh, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that that's... My sister's muffler. So Miss Dara wasn't just seeing things. 
When the crime occurred, Miss Guy really was wearing that muffler. But to think that it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. <clears throat> A little worth his car, no less. Oh? Why are there so many pauses? It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. Well, what's this? It's what you'd call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Oh? Huh? Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? M Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? <gasps> hmm? Lurk, my friend invited me to play Have a Good Stream, Kiri. <gasps> have a fun game! Hope you have fun. Bye-bye. Petal, petal. <laughs> okay, petal, petal. <laughs> <clears throat> if your investigation if your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? N n now wait a minute, worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. <gasps> or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document. Or say it's person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature, is there? Miles Edgeworth? That, that's not fair. On the day of the crime, I, I had... Your head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I ex I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Oh no, Edgeworth! This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edward. Yeah. The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Oh? Y yes? Just to be sure. I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. The, the blade, your honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes. Well, I think all you have to do is to push the switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright... I wouldn't be able to pound my gable anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. <laughs> Not true. Come on, just hurry up and open it. Oh my. Okay. Seems alter. Oh my god. What? D don't scare me like that. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip is broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? Switchblade knife added to the core record. Wrapped in the defendant's muffler, small tag attached to okay. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I'd like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us? About the split between the prosecutors and the police. And this knife. Sure. Sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back. Welcome back, Zane. This knife is special. But I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. There was a bad day for the p department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. The time of the crime? 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here, this here case, so I can't talk much about it. Eh? There. There was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush-hush information, Pidgey. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait a second. You said 5.15. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Correlation? Oh. Order, order, order. Anyway, we at the, we at the department were all aflustered, as you may well assume. We were in the middle of a top, top secret investigation. Didn't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department's situation. Well, Mr. Wright? Two detectives killed at the same time, in two different places. 
the chances of that are really slim. Scientifically speaking, of course. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Okay. Okay, well, Goodman's note. Um, 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 um. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Present. Okay. Ah, I'm back to full life. Wait a second. Ah, at last, an honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to ha have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Aha! An honest to goodness, what do you mean from Uji? This is great. <laughs> Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Over here, we also have a memo that was found on the body of the victim. Hmm. What's this? 6 minus 7s. 12 slash 2. Your honor, it's upside down. Upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? SL9. Ah! Aha! Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. SL9. That's the same thing that is written on the knife's tag. Order. Order. Well, cheap. Ah, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, writer. I win? Ah. What game is this guy playing? <laughs> this knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. Oh. So this knife was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder happen. Murder weapon, as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder, and it was found on the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there isn't a connection there. That was a bad okay. What is this about? On the same day that the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, Uji? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested them, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, right, Ted? I suppose I could help if you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Um. We already know this. We already know this. This is not important, so where? So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse is found, but I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the, de police, at the police department. The evidence room? W wait a second. I've heard of that. The evidence room. Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? The knife was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's the connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? We just got a handed out ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. Okay. Mmm. Hmm. 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 
Chief, the defense position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Have, anyways. <laughs> you don't say. Well, out with the writer. What's your connection? Yes, out with the Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number of this knife's evidence tag. And also we know that the detective murdered at the de police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. Hello? You two make a great pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced right here. Chief, I request that you release your information on the victims at the, de at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet and all. Can we get the information? Unofficially? Hmm... Hmm... Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. What? Really? Who would have guessed? Mm -hmm. Hell, even he acknowledges the bromance of the two. <laughs> it's too strong. It's simply too strong. What can I say? <laughs> I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? If you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ah, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well, I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of him. Wait. Sergeant Bruce Goodman ID 5842189 I wonder why hmm. Hmm. Think Okay Let's try and go for ID number Okay how about you tell me the victim's ID number? Hmm? Sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me the name after all. We keep a tight lid on the ID numbers. So don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... Is... 5842189 It matches. Hell yeah. Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. A2... I can't do it. <laughs> you didn't even get the first number, right? <laughs> uh, well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? Yes, yes. The ID number of the victim at the police department. 5842189. This tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does. I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something? What does it tell you? Sorry, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. <laughs> no, I it's just I got confused. And this is news? Huh? Just come out with both guns blazing, like you always do. The police department, the prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh, uh -huh. is it yours? N n no, your honor. I'm a defense attorney, remember? 
This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, writer. Personnel's IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is... 5842189. And this means what exactly? Huh? Wait, the ID number we heard from the chief earlier. That started with 82. Hmm, I've forgotten. You didn't even get the first number right again! <laughs> the number the chief of police gave us was 5842189. But wait a second, right? What does this mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. The detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman? What does our witness think about that? Oh, <laughs> sharp as attack, right? Her sharp as attack. But, but wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. He was killed at 5.15 in the underground parking lot. Yet, a detective Briscoe was also killed at the police department. I'm so confused. I'm so confused what's happening. Am I supposed to have a doppelganger question mark? Huh? Oh god. Okay. In the evidence room at the exact same time. Huh? Huh? That, that's impossible. So, what we're saying is... The same person was killed at the same time? He's not your victim, he's my victim, goddammit. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> mine. <laughs> uh, once was not enough on you. <laughs> and in a completely different location. This is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Order, order, order. Chief, what does this mean? Uh, no. What I want to know is why did I hear about this? <gasps> to be fair, Kiri could have killed him twice by revival. <laughs> No, I can't, I can't like, double gang. I can't duplicate someone, I can't clone someone, you know? Like, what happened here is, there were two of Detective Goodman, and they got killed at the same time, it doesn't work like that. Uh, I say your grammar, your gra Okay, I'll stop reading your, that line, of, it's triggering, it's triggering, okay. <laughs> yes, it's top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now, just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Or didn't you hear me? The oversight, the grave error? Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. Oh, what? How? How dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the news. Uh, officer Meekins? Mr. Wright! Where have we heard that name before? Wait. Aha! Um. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? Could of- Oh god, stop. I'm here, sir. At the request of the Chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. You don't mean... him? According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me he said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Briscoeman murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Yeah. But why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He did seem challenged. In any case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. But, but sir... You could have submitted that report this morning to the court's evidence. Then I... Man? What? What's happening? Hello? No such luck this time, Worthy. Or should I say, unworthy? What? Now, what was the second rule of evidence law, hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, well, it's a... Uh, rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. 
And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in the court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. The connection was just proven by writer over there. Good job, writer, my boy. Huh? Uh, I... I'll just do my job. No. No! seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're getting through a tough time, worthy. What with all those rumors? You're even in the defendant's chair just this past December. I, I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened. If, if, that's, if it's the last thing I do. You'd better get results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. Pardon, Mr. Edward. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I'll grant one for the day, as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edward? Yes, your honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Oh, no. Very well. Court is adjourned. <gasps> Ooh, <wee. laughs> okay. Next part, investigation, I think. Today is investigation. Save. Oop, oop. Okay. Yes. Ah, oh, this is a long trial. <laughs> Alright. Uh, um, Mr. Wright, so... What's going on with the case anyway? I, I'm a little confused. Don't worry, Sam. Huh? But well, um, let's see. What is going on? Sam! <laughs> the victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the, and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Or try to, at least. <clears throat> Alright. Let's do this. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Let me say sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for sure. Let's go. Science awaits us. Okay. <laughs> So right now, both of them have no idea what ha what would have happened just not long ago. What a goldfish memory. It's like, mm, like, it's not the problem. The problem is it's so confusing because um, the victim was killed twice. Or well, supposedly killed twice at the same time at two different locations. So it's just like, huh? How, how is that possible? I don't know. I have, I have a theory, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I don't know enough yet. I don't know enough, but I have a theory. Um, you know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? I, I think, I think, I think, I think that's pretty crucial. <laughs> yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum. Was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Mm. My sister erasing evidence of the crime scene? Never. Even though she says she, they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. It's just... We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that old drum washed it all away. Heh heh heh. Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? The situation calls for one thing, and that is... Liminal testing fluid. L liminal Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. 
Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes for your own Mr. Right. Just give it a try. With me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor, I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood stains with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of these things? To test for a blood reaction, just spray the luminol on it. Hmm? Kiri could have killed the detective better, but she should have cleaned it up. If she would have put them into a fryer, no one would know. No idea what we talking about. Like this seat. Press enter to spray it on. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. Uh, oh. Examined. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So this is a blood stain. Uh, it's so, uh. Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. Yeah, the amount of blood. What's odd about this? Scientifically, the amount of blood. The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd have to have been more blood than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Right? I'm gonna mark up the floor plans where we found a blood stain, okay? Okay. See? I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Uh, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Liminal testing floor I received. <laughs> from very- From one very proud Emma Sky. <laughs> okay. We can't be sure that- That the detect- That the police will reveal all the evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to even mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Then let's drag out that- Let's drag that hidden evidence out into the light of day. Yeah. It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? I guess I should give this a spray on anything suspicious. Ha! Oh? Oh, it's Angel. I wonder how that float of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star! You only trust your own eyes, hon. Not bad, you two. This day, old deli box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead-in doesn't really get my mouth watering. Hello, Kiri. <gasps> Hello, Kira. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. We are doing some Ace Attorney. Ah, brain. Okay. Stop. Today's trial. You suddenly put me in, in a tight spot today. My apologies, Mr. Star, but... No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. <laughs> I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry? You lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Ah. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed a good man. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? Oh, you love this series? I, I, I quite like this as well. quite like this game. It's very fun. <laughs> Solving mysteries. Having multiple theories along the way. And then figuring out the truth. Very fun, very fun. <laughs> so, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hardened the criminal, when they faced me, they coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know? I may seem like a demon sometimes, 
But I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And before long they called me the cop up queen. <laughs> oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. <laughs> oh, true. Cop up can mean many things. <laughs> uh, and you were let go of fire? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. Oh? It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... Oh? Oh? Uh... Let's give her some... some... some interesting things, shall we? Where's the... This is... Um... What do you think about this? The SL9 incident. It's written on the knife. And on that note... Goodman... Goodman was the head detective on the case, you know? Really? That knife was evidence from that case. The murder weapon. It was due for transferal the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected, SL9 isn't over. Not yet. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Well, should I give it? Um. <clears throat> if you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes. She went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem. Miss Star, you lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I've had my testimony disregarded before. And I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time? Well, what else is related? Ah, jeez. Okay, give her everything. I had one of those up until two years ago. Back when you were the cop up queen, right? We found this ID card here in this parking lot. Well, there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's. But it's the same ID as the man who was killed at the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. What do you think about this? The SL9 incident. It's written on that knife. And on the note. Oh. I've already seen this. Never mind. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. <clears throat> Stop more. Okay, SL9. That incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? To who? Two years ago. It was the biggest case I'd ever handled. Oh? Oh, the police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it? On the contrary. It was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. E executed Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. What? But the criminal was executed, executed, right? On the basis of evidence, of a sort. Made up evidence. What, what? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen. Others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Wait, could it be? Exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. Whoops, I mean, Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. 
As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined. And then it was over. He was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side to that case. A hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait. Those lunches you sell. There's only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends. Boyfriends that can help me investigate. Miss Dara's old boyfriends. How many does she have anyway? Just when all the detectives on SO9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. Sorry, Rookie. What? what? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Not enough? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, man. Like, hmm. Even, even, even one would be pretty annoying to deal with. I say that from experience. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine more than one. Ah, uh, there's too many- there's too many men in my life, All right? Yes! Then you should take this. A uh, Salisbury steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you recount him with this treat. Steak lunch received. Excellent for putting Officer Marshall- Oh? Okay, bribery? <laughs> I mean, what? Um, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he your- uh, are you his? Uh, are you g g g going out? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too, back then. This will be when Officer Marshall was a detective. But now, now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I... I see. Thank you. Officer Jake, Officer Jake Marshall, hmm. Alright. Um... Okay. It's even busier today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast and blurring. I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed here after all. So the evidence room. The scene of the crime. According to this pamphlet we got at the front desk. Here it is. She's like a kid at an amusement park. <laughs> oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Alright, let's move. Um... Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a detective down at the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Ugh, oh, it makes me my head hurt. Well, first things first, let's go check out the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating. But don't mess up, or it could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. But it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. Um... How do I get to the... This? Oh, okay, this is it. What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime. It sure seems that way. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly. So imposing. It's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. What I want to know is, if there is, if this is a guard room, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. Um, is it at the door then? The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. You thought it'd be open? I think we'd need someone's permission to go in there first. Um. 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 
Hmm. Probably, probably, it probably belongs to Marshall, so... Huh? This place is charged with frantic energy as always. Please! Huh? Wasn't that... One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe. Now's no time for chit-chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Now's no time for despair. We've caught our criminal. Now we just need evidence. The criminal? You mean... You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? Oh, yes, that's true. On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Oh, there was a suspect. Just arrested them, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy-turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal. All I need is... I need me a steak lunch, pronto. Standing around here, talking isn't going to fill my belly. Oh, God. Okay. Um, wait. Don't leave. If you want to know more, head on down to the, de to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. Later. Huh? He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Still, I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they called the person who stabbed De De Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Best to not go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. Well, what was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator? I, I'd say I, I was the perpetrator against, sir. That's what I'd say. Oh? Meekins? Ah, oh, uh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, is your guard here at the, de at, the uh, at the detention center? No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report. No, sir, I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? Err, uh, perpetrator of Sir Meekins reporting, sir. What? What? Now, this is an unexpected turn of events. Um, okay. Sir, I'm a patrolman with General Affairs, sir. Sir! Oh, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station is in front of the room, it's empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room. That's right, sir, because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. M Marshall? Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. <laughs> what the heck is this guy doing? I don't kneel. So what happened then? After that, sir, I... I... I everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. Ah, thank you for the follow. On, 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 I'm sorry if I get your name wrong. <laughs> okay. And when I came to, I was here. In the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Um. Might I ask what happened to your hand? You're welcome and you have a really pretty voice. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to know that you guys like my voice. <laughs> 
Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. Just like Miss Guy. Oh, that's true. Yet another similarity between this case and the, and the one in the prosecutor's office. First things first. Tell us how you hurt your hand. Um, I don't mean to pry. But you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. If you have to label me as perpetrator or victim, sir. Then label me victim. Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that. <laughs> ah, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Oh, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I say he leans heavily on the total stranger's side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department, devoid of light and other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. Sir, if he was a turtle stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir. None. N nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. <laughs> uh, about your hand, did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I err. Uh, don't you think you should just confess? But sir, sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, when it happened, when the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hold it, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Huh? Then when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone because... Because the detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then when I looked out, I saw gushing blood from my hands, sir. Oh, the shock. Oh, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm. That's some sorry. Interesting. Um. Very interesting. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Present. Um, do you think you could ha take a look at this? Hey! That's it, sir. That's it. That's it! That's what? My head was blank until this very moment. But, sir, now I remember. I remember, sir. You mean, you remember what happened? Correct. That card. That card was the cause of it all. This... ID card? Exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing. I'd better pry into this one little deeper. Okay. Okay, crime details. Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost patrolman. A lost little lamb, if you will. Okay. I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. He was in the evidence room. And that's why you thought he looked suspicious. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. But that's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What else did he... What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly, he pointed a knife at me. What? Sir, I assure you, I was as flustered as you are right now. So I whooped and looked at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. Do unto to other do unto to others before they do unto you. My father's words, sir. W what happened then? Well, my eyes, sir. Everything went white. When I awoke, I was here. Right. Reason for arrest. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Minkins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim whom he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room. We don't even know if anyone actually died. 
A sister, that. That's what I wanted to say. That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here? They told me that it had to be him, sir. On that day at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly? No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? V videotape? From the security camera. The crime. My crime. The crime I swore to stamp out is there. It's me. It's on tape. And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry. Real, really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. N no thanks. I, I have my own. Well, guess we better go check out the crime scene. Alright. Um... Oh. Hey, Mr. Wright. Look who's standing at the chief of detective's desk. It's police, Chief Gat. And you're sure this is all, hmm? You know what it means if there is anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, under his... Oh, anyways, a bunch of things. Ah, I see. Well, if anything does turn off, you call me right away, deal? Y yes sir We'll scour the place again, sir. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. <laughs> right here, my boy. How you been? So much? Oh ho ho. Chief Gant. Reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Um should we talk to him? Um is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, were they? Oh you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yeah, uh, sounds like an inquisition. In inquisition. <laughs> inquisition. <laughs> yep. Well, they've had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in a, in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right? Right, her? One karma. Mhm. Mm a legend he was undefeated in his 40 year career. But in court, you fixed it, so he was caught for forging evidence. But wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of a turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. <gasps> what, what? Okay. It's downright odd, I tell you. Detective getting killed on their turf too, I mean. There being the prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, writer, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. I can't stand them. Okay. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping up the chief of detectives trap shut. <laughs> ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? You saw that? Whoops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. Um... Oh, sorry, you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Oh, I'll see you over there. That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check him for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. <laughs> Oh god, so nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. Better make a note of that just in case. 
I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Um. Okay. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. It's two one zero zero. Eh? Wait. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I never thought the day would come when you writer asked me for help. Was that from my own friend the mouth? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I was wondering if I could investigate the evidence room. Please say yes. Um, hello? Now, writer. Actually, I'm sorry, I don't need to investigate after all. <laughs> writer, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow 50? I'd give them 50, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show you never know until you ask. And for you, here, you can borrow this. Huh? Hey! This is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Y yes, sir. It's an honor. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Alright. Hey, hey, looks pretty cool on my label, doesn't it? Just think. A real ID. Oh god, this is gonna be long, isn't it? Okay. You seem happy. Yes, sir. The cursor, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, it's time. Wait, let me just go over there into the room first and then I will... Okay, then now I will know what to do. Alright, let me save this real quick. Save... Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go slip. I'll go slip. <clears throat> I, I'm, I've, I've been working myself very hard the reason I'm, 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 I'm in slip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, ending. Ah, ah, oh, so much study. Anyways, I hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you guys on Thursday, hopefully. <laughs> um, catch you all later. I asked me good night. I asked me hi. I asked me. See you guys on Thursday. We're gonna be I'm gonna be building a other base with Anita. So yeah, thank you for the stream. Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, good night. Sleep well, everyone. <laughs>